What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Elgato software. Now yes, I have made a video on this before, however the interface has changed, so I'm just going to be running through it very quickly. So as you can see my Xbox One is turned on and connected, there is the preview screen right there. Over here we have the Game Capture HD and the settings for it. So you can see I'm currently have it set up in 720p at 30 frames per second. If you want to change it, come to this button right here. Now you'll see it says Capture. The import device is an Xbox One, so you'd select your device. Here is the video import and it comes up automatically because I connected with HDMI. Over here is the audio. Again, you can choose HDMI is the one because I have that plugged in. The color range is completely up to you. Personally, I'll stick to standard. And here is the profile, you can, can go up to 1080 if you want to, and you can also go to 60 FPS. And here we have the quality. Now personally, I've had it here since I've been recording, and honestly, it's been pretty good. I haven't seen anything bad about it, I haven't seen anything different about it. So, again, it's completely up to you. You can go to best, but from here, I'm still good. Here you can convert to standard definition to 640x480, again, completely up to you if you want that. As you can see with the box checked, the game capture will convert 720 to by 480. And then here, stretch standard definition input. Again, I'd keep that checked. Now onto the picture. Now you can change it. So if I put the brightness up, you'll see this screen will also go up like that. So you can just play around with it. If it's too dark or if it's too bright, for example, you can mess around with it. Now it doesn't actually affect the monitor you are playing on. What it's affecting is the recording itself, so you can mess with any settings if you want to. Over here is the audio, now completely up to you, personally I'd leave it at zero. Now profiles, this is if you change any settings, you can simply add a profile and you won't have to remember all these settings over again. And finally we have the TV compatibility, only adjust this value if your TV fades to black while connected to Elgato Game Capture HD. So if your screen is flickering black and then coming back, you'll need to mess with the TV compatibility. Mine's set at 2 by default and I've had no problems. Now the next thing is live streaming right here. Now you can't really click on anything because you need to actually add an account. So you press this and you can see you can stream with Twitch, YouTube, Ustream, Dailymotion and RTMP and it's completely up to you what you do. So all you gotta do is click on one of them and you'll add your account. Now I'm not gonna do it, but here would be the title. On the settings here, you choose where you wanna stream from. So for me, it would be in London or Manchester because that's the closest places for me. And then here it'll tell you how good the connection is. Now this part here is pretty obvious. It is the game audio. So when you're recording, you can mess with the game audio. So let's say you're doing live commentary you can turn it down a bit like that, so you simply just put your mouse over, left click, and you can see it's that simple. Turn it off, like that, turn it all the way up, like that. Again, completely up to you, I always have mine at 100 because I record my voice using a different software. Now the next thing is for those that want to do live commentary. The reason I don't do live commentary using the software and use a different software is because my CPU fan is pretty loud. So if I record the mic and the game audio at the same time, Obviously it's going to be messed up. So, completely up to you, you can have it on. Just turn it all the way up, and you can see it's on. And select your mic from here. And this part here is completely up to you. Automatically reduce other audio tracks. Personally, I'd leave it full. And then to start capturing your audio, you simply press commentary. Now here you have a settings button, and again you can mess with the threshold or the amplitude. And then here we have a settings button, and you can mess with these settings if you need to. Now coming down, you can see this is when you record. This is nothing to do with stream, it's when you're recording. So you can see the last thing I was recording was Demolition on Black Ops 3. And you always have to have a tag, you always have to have a game and a video title in order to record. So you simply just call it whatever you want. So let's say we're going to call Team Deathmatch. BO3 again, just put BO3 and TDM like that. And that is saved. And if you come to the bottom right, you can see there is a settings button. This time you get access to configuration and game level. Now all that is done, so you're ready to stream or you're ready to just simply record. But if you come up here, you also get this. So this is the game capture preferences. So you can choose where you want it to save to. So that's where my things are going to save to. You can see, save there. 
and also where you want screenshots to save to. I'll get into that in a minute. And we also have enable flashback recording. Now what that is, it's to do with this bar right here. So let's say you have Elgato open, but you're not actually recording. What you can do is go back on this, and then you'll be able to simply record from that specific clip. So that is what flashback recording is. Personally, I have it on, but I never use it. And again, completely up to you. And then you can have enable stream command. Over here is just the sharing if you want to directly send it to YouTube, Facebook or any of those things. And here I have always convert new videos to MP4, completely up to you. Here it says mix the following tracks to exports. And again, completely up to you if you want that. And then the same here, export to separate files, webcam, live commentary, audio. Now the next thing you have updates, you don't really need to use this. However, if you don't want the software to update, you can simply uncheck this so it won't automatically check for updates and update itself. And this again completely up to you. Hotkeys, so again you can choose whatever keys you want to start and stop recording. Personally I don't have it on because I just use my second monitor, but completely up to you. And then we also have advanced which is decoder and stream commando encoder. Now onto this part right here. So to record, simply press record. You can see it's now recording and once it's recording you'll get this spinning circle and the time here will also go up. And you can see my C drive is pretty full, I've only got 18 gigabytes worth of space left, so it tells you that right there. To stop the recording, simply press stop, and it stops recording. Now with the flashback right here, you can see if you come here, you have the option to play, and pause, and fast forward, and then you can go back to live footage like that. This button next to it is a screenshot, so you can see if you hover over it, it says screenshot, if you press it, it's taken a screenshot and that has gone to the place where you picked to choose it from so you can see nothing even shows that you actually took a screenshot apart from you clicking it now my screenshot location is on my desktop by default as you can see TDM screenshot and it tells us the date right there and there is a screenshot of the current screen now this next part is completely up to you so you can see this right here this disables the preview which basically means it'll get rid of the screen so if we press this you can no longer preview it and you can see flashback recording and live stream will continue to operate in the background. Now the next thing is mute. This literally mutes everything. Your commentary and the game audio itself. So all you gotta do is press it and it will have this like that. And again if my Twitch was ready all I had to do was press this button and it would start streaming. And again the commentary button's there again. Now another thing, stream command. So this is what we saw in the settings earlier if you wanted it on or off. You can come to edit scenes you can press this button right here which is adding an overlay you can see you now can add live face cam now they never added this before so this is a very good feature I don't have a webcam plugged in so I can't show you that but you can see your webcam device would be here and then here you can also add an image so let's say you have a logo or something you can add it on and you can also add a web page completely up to you so I'll just show you by adding an image I'll find my logo so here's my logo right here and you can see it comes out pretty big you can simply resize it and we'll put it right there and I believe this is the opacity so you can mess with the opacity let's go ahead and bring this down here's the opacity you can see you can put it like that now this white box you're seeing around it won't be there when you're streaming it's only because we haven't saved the scene just yet and then here you have bring to the front and you also have bring to the back so again simple to resize all you gotta do is move it out like that and then you can also crop the image live here, so you can see, like this, if I just go ahead and crop this down, like so, and I'll move that up. Now once I'm happy with that, simply press save scenes, that is automatically embedded in all of my videos now. Now the last thing I'll show you is edit, so you can actually edit your videos live in the program itself. So you can see, once you name the game title, it'll make a folder for itself, you can also change the way you want to view it. You can see right there, personally I'll stick with game title, so BO3 shows my BO3 gameplay. So you can see that was an hour and 48 minute recording, hour and 2 minutes, and it just goes through like that. And then this was the recording I literally just done right here, and you can see it's loaded up into the editing section. So if I come here, and we can literally just go through this, you can see the literally the only things you can do is trim and take screenshot. So probably not the best thing to use unless you're sniping or something and you just want to get a little clip out. You can simply split and then let's go split again and then we'll delete the other ones. So simply like that, like that and there we go. That is a 5 second clip we've just made like that. And then all you have to do from there, press this button 
and it will export the video like that. And you can see it's also shortened it down here as well. And once you're done with it, you can simply press this button and it will delete the selected clip. Delete. It's now gone. And then here you can share them straight away to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter or any of them other stuff you see right there. Now as you share them or after you've finished recording, you'll see they'll come here as well. So you press that button and you can see it will all be here. Now that is even some stuff right there that I have on my computer but they're no longer in the same file so they come out like that. Simply clear that and it won't delete the files, it'll just clear it from that list that was just shown. So that is it, that is how you use the Elgato Game Capture HD software, a new improved one, you can now have live face cam, so that is very very good. Now just very quickly, if you have a webcam overlay, you need to edit the scene, you can simply come here, this is by default, and delete this by pressing the X up there, and then we can press this right here. And again, just go ahead and look for the image. So here we go, this is one of my face cams, that's going to add up there and just save the settings and you can see I've now got my face cam loaded up there and of course if I had my webcam I'd be able to show you it loaded up so we have now have two scenes we have one with just the overlay and then one with the face cam like that so that is it for this video hopefully it has helped you the new software is looking good in my opinion and I do like it be sure to go follow me on Twitter I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel I'll keep you updated on the best technology news and finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat or just do. Round my day. So, yes, been Casual Sanchi. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Wait. And peace.